right? Because I don't know them. I'm specifically mm -hmm. talking about Leopard. Mm -hmm. And the way he behaved, it was uh, totally unexpected. And I don't think it fits the status of a kingdom like 9060. Welcome back again with me, Mrs. Suspicious, uh, and also Uncle Shu in the Sue and Sue's channel. Uh, we're gonna have a really special guest today. We're gonna have Night King from the leadership of GST 1365. Hi! Hey, uh, hi, how's it going, guys? Thanks for the invite. Uh, hi, Night Kings. Yeah. Just to clarify, I'm from BLN, not, not BST. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, okay. I know people. Okay. Yeah, so people are familiar with the GST because uh, they win the or uh, Cyrus League. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. okay. such a big name indeed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> such an honor to have you today in this conversation to this uh, interview. Welcome to our channel. Thank you guys. Thanks for the invite and thank you for uh, showcasing uh, 365. It's a pleasure to, to be here. Um, yeah, uh, we've been knowing six, uh, 1365 for a long time, especially uh, from the Osiris League and it's always been a big name in the AROK community. And also now the spotlight and 1365 from uh, your KVK, which I think uh, bring a lot of attention to the kingdom, especially with the matchmaking. And people even uh, can say it's the legendary KVK that we have now. And yeah, with this, if I'm not mistaken, seven Imperiums in one Lost Kingdom, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it started as less Imperiums, but uh, during the, the training and uh, when people just started training for Bastions, that number, uh, the number of Imperiums went up, yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, really amazing that even for us, uh, we're trying to cover the whole uh, process and the whole story of the, the KVK. Um, uh, for, for this KVK, I want to know a little more from from the inside story of the leadership from 1365 can you share with us the dynamic uh in the leadership in the decision making why you guys uh end up to choose a strife of eight as your scenario for this kvk well we uh we the the decision making process we were having is just like a bunch of people pretty chill in a room you know talking about what we're going to do, about next KVK, about this KVK. And uh, most of the time, like like 90% of the time, we just agree on, on a single thing altogether. Like there's hardly any like disagreement. We we have like fairly experienced people in leadership. Mm -hmm. So uh, for this drive, we, we thought like, okay, we, we did a 1v3 uh, HA and should we go uh, again for Heroic Anthem? Probably not. It's kind of it does get boring and repetitive, mm. uh, so we we thought like okay let's go for strife, and we we heard other kingdoms are going for strife like ninety three, we, mm. we actually signed uh, 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 the previous iteration but we didn't have uh, an opponent found, mm -hmm. so we just got pushed back to the next one, and yeah we we were pleased to see that you know it's going to be a big strife. So. Oh. Basically, you guys have no idea about the matchmaking before, right? So, uh, previous no, no, no. yeah, previous invitation you were rejected because no matchmaking, is it? Yeah, yeah, not entirely. I mean, uh, th there are some Discord servers and some some in-game chats where you mm. know, uh, like um, people talk about when they're gonna register, mm. and yeah, it's not a like it's not a big secret. People will say, okay, we're gonna register this uh, this strife or this HA. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we we thought we we register because usually the, the the normal is you know having a couple of skips after after KVK if if it's like you know a tough KVK you need a couple of skips to to take a, a breather. But um, yeah, we took two skips. We tried to register. I don't remember the kingdoms that had registered for that uh, mm. 
for that strife <clears throat> i just don't recall but uh we we yeah we didn't have an opponent and we just uh, registered on the next one yeah i see Sebentar, ada sponsor dari video ini. Thank you so much for Galeri Top Up Indonesia yang telah mensponsori video ini. Teman-teman kalian yang misalnya suka top up di game khususnya Rise of Kingdoms, kalian bisa dapatkan harga bundle yang jauh lebih terjangkau melalui top up di galeri topupindonesia.com. Di mana di sini kalian bisa mendapatkan harga yang jauh lebih murah hanya dengan mengikuti dan isi form yang tersedia di websitenya dan segala jenis bundle ataupun pembelian lain yang kalian inginkan semuanya tersedia. Terdapat berbagai cara pembayaran, kalian bisa langsung kunjungi aja Galeri Top Up Indonesia. Thank you so much. Lanjut ke video. <laughs> yeah, um, with this matchmaking now, I mean, people really pay attention and people really um, focus obviously with the two big names in the matchmaking, right? Uh, 365 and also uh, 1960, obviously, the two big names in the AROK community. Did you guys expect I mean, uh, did you get expect to to see big names as uh, as well in this KPK? Yeah, we actually uh, we used to to keep tabs with with 60GT um, and a few folks from there, uh, specifically Leopard. We like we were keeping in touch, and uh, we we kind of knew that we would both register. So the chances of us meeting in the KPK were pretty high. Like we, we knew that we also heard like from 93 that they would just register. So yeah, expectations were it would probably be a big KVK uh, with, with this kind of uh, Imperium uh, kingdoms on the map. And yeah, as I said, there's also other chats where people just sing, but uh, yeah, people talk also, you, you can get info from friends or people, you know, so yeah, it's pretty easy to, to understand who's, who's gonna register. It just depends on the kingdom. If, if they think they can take hard KVK or just, you know, something more potentially mm -hmm. easier. They, usually we, we don't have like the easiest KVKs, but it, it, it really depends sometimes on how the map uh, comes out and what, what's going to happen with, with uh, the alliances. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, another thing uh, which I'm, uh, I really would like to know, during the, um, I think it's even before the pre kvk starting um there are a lot of uh you may say like discussion um hate speech uh, all of those things happen in this in the in, in in rok international rok community in facebook especially there are some idea uh, which we which i don't know for sure what happened actually um about uh, for example the coalition the alliances who's gonna uh, ally with which kingdom uh and what what is actually what was happened actually uh during that process is it true that some people said that uh, there is an, a kingdom that would like to dominate everything we'd like to say okay you you guys with this guy this guy this guy i'm gonna be with this guy this guy this guy basically is that true that what happening and then in in 365 perspective yeah so <laughs> it, it started a bit as a shit show right it, it really i i have to say that was not something we expected or i personally expected like mm -hmm. this was totally unexpected the way it, it unfolded uh, but yes you're totally right facebook sometimes can be like a, a brewing ground for a bit of toxicity there and yeah. there's all, also a lot of people trolling, right? Like most of yeah. the people that claim, hey, I'm from 365 or 254, mm -hmm. whatever, they're just mm -hmm. not. They're random mm -hmm. people causing drama. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that, that's my perspective. I know uh, at least from 365, like there's very few people talking on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, and like we, we, we try to tend to keep a low, a low profile, but it's, <laughs> it, we haven't been that successful in that endeavor. But anyways, <laughs> so what happened was what, what we usually do in every kvk is we gather all the kingdoms in the chat room mm -hmm. and we just talk it through and say hey guys how we can make you know this map balance how we can make this uh kvk entertaining uh, everybody has different perspective right we all are different people different backgrounds different kingdoms everybody has different ideas so uh we, obviously it's not the goal to please everybody uh, in the matchmaking right 
but at least to avoid some drama like it used to happen. Because I, this is like my 13 KVK back in the days, there was a lot of shady uh, diplomacy, backstabbing mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So uh, mm -hmm. I think by getting people in the same room, it kind of helps everybody to, to uh, understand and, and voice their opinion about the matchmaking. So we did the same thing uh, here with, with 9060 and 93 and all the kingdoms on the map. We gathered in a room <clears throat> and we just started talking about the matchmaking. Mm -hmm. And it came, and at this point, like me personally, I've, I have been keeping tabs with Leopard before this KVK in a friendly okay. way, like, you know, just talking about other KVKs and stuff like that. So we realized during this process that uh, 9060 uh, didn't want to have any other opinion accepted or even uh, contemplate any other opinion besides their own. Like the, 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 their idea was that we should all like daybreak and go mm -hmm. with uh, 1175 and 1534. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we, we kind of explained to them uh, that, you know, having a caged ally, and it's not just caged, you're having a caged ally who is in a kingdom, not their Imperium, but it's between 9060 and, and 93. The mm -hmm. chances of that kingdom, you know, doing anything in their KVK is like practically next to none, right? They're not okay. going to get out of the other zone. So mm -hmm. we explained that this makes no sense, having a caged kingdom at the start. Not just mm -hmm. for us, but for everybody. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> and we, we went through the, through the options and we, we proposed, I don't know, eight, ten options overall on different matchmaking ideas and 9060 just discarded everything they didn't even talk about it mm -hmm. and it, it made me realize that they, they came with a bias and an agenda into the table mm -hmm. to talk about it and they were expecting us to do what they wanted but that's not how uh, diplomacy works or any kind of negotiation right Okay. So, yeah, they also, I didn't like the way they, they behaved and the way they talked to other people and other kingdoms. Um, it was a bit appalling to me <clears throat> by certain individuals by 1960. Mm -hmm. And then um, we, were, we were still discussing, like, it was, this was the first day, okay? We disagreed. People proposed we make uh, two different chat rooms, one with 93, and one oh. with, with a smaller number of people. Mm -hmm. And we did that. But, you know, it, it was, it, it took, at this point, it was many hours and people were going to, to sleep and things had slowed down, chess had slowed down. And we were discussing with 93 uh, about how, how we can do, we, we, we made like some proposals to do like a 2v6 or 3v5 with 93. Uh, and, or, uh, you know, propose the same uh, map that uh, we have right now mm -hmm. with, with the coalitions. So we came with those two, two proposals again. 93 was thinking about it, but as I said, it was like late in the night at this point. Mm -hmm. So everybody went to bed. And next thing in the morning, uh, <laughs> I get pinged by, by people that there's like some post by Leopard on <laughs> Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, Le Leopard had left the chat at some point, like he kind of rage quit. I don't know uh, why he just okay. didn't. Yeah, uh, like nobody told him to leave. He just left. And uh, mm -hmm. next day, I get pinged that there's some drama on Facebook, and I, I go on Facebook and check out what's yeah. going on. And I see this post by by Leopard mm -hmm. referring to what Safe posted in Cafe Naver, who is which is like a, a Korean uh, forum kind of community for Rise mm -hmm. of Kingdoms. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. And, and yeah, I, I wrote a reply just like 10 minutes after I just had drunk my coffee. Uh, and yeah, this made no sense. It was totally unexpected. The, the, uh -huh. the way 9060 leadership, I don't want to blame the whole kingdom, right? Because I don't know them. I'm specifically mm -hmm. talking about Leopard. Mm -hmm. And the way he behaved, it was uh, totally unexpected. And I don't think it fits the status of a kingdom like 9060. Okay. So, yeah. And then I responded, and then there's like lots of drama back and mm. forth. Okay. Yeah. And essentially, what, what Safe posted in Cafe Naver, which is like a Korean mm -hmm. uh, community, is that, you know, <clears throat> he thanked everybody for their interest because there was a lot of posts 
same as Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, like, we're still talking about it. There's no okay. update. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The update is mm -hmm. there's no update. We're still talking about it. We're still trying to figure out the allies. And mm -hmm. that's what Leopard posted on Facebook. Like, how, how is that? <clears throat> and, and Leopard didn't like the fact that we allied Thundercamp. But as far as uh -huh. I know, yeah, as far as I know, Thundercamp uh, voted on which side they will ally with. So mm -hmm. it was their choice, their decision. They put up a vote, and their vote was three six five. Mm -hmm. Okay, understand. So yeah, yeah, that, that's the high level overview of what happened, and mm -hmm. um, we we didn't want to engage in drama, and that was the the reason we gathered people in the first place mm -hmm. in, in a room to talk about things. Obviously, it didn't work as expected, but hey. You know, sometimes it happens. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, a lot of people have said that this current map is balanced. Or yeah. it, some even have said that it, it tips more to the scale in favor of a 90-60-93 coalition. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, you know, that's their opinion. But I have to say that, it, it, it's not the only people that view this as imbalanced against 90-60 was, was Leopard and 90-60s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, you can say that um, the whole map actually happened because uh, the diplomacy. You can say the diplomacy fall fell down. Um, no, no more talking uh, happened, and it's also because of maybe not uh, patient enough. You can say, but but to be honest, it, well, it's a it's a good uh, map. Um, there is one more question, actually. Uh, it came from our viewers. Um, was asking about: uh, Is it true that Mimi uh, Alliance Kingdom basically uh, some problems uh, with the the coalition with the force of uh, nineteen six? Uh, sorry, thirteen sixty five. No, not really. There was there was some some kind of drama where somebody posted a like fake screenshot ah, of a mm. chat and okay. posted it there and yeah people thought it came from 365 but it was just like kind of a doctored kind of oh, photo that, that's what i heard uh, obviously i'm oblivious because you know I, I i i my korean is pretty bad so i cannot read what's happening in in certain uh, forums so uh, mm -hmm. but as far as i know there's no issue like there was this, this kind of screenshot and yeah safe has has, uh, has done a really good job of keeping uh, in touch with the leaderships of both the korean kingdoms and as far as i know there's like no problem at all okay well Basically, if for for uh, for our viewers at the moment, if you are watching this recording, uh, the rumor was um, what I would like to say is like Mimi was refusing, uh, uh, or you can say Mimi uh, kind of like um, dislike to three six five because three six five or GST asking Mimi to drop power, which is which is insane in my opinion what the hell what what why are you asking mimi to drop power what what is the purpose of it i mean it doesn't make sense at all and then uh, that that make um the coalition or, or the relationship between the kingdoms in jeopardize uh, but um like you guys heard now that night king said that it is not true actually the relationship is very well and the communication from the king Yes, from safe uh, is good uh, with the other coalition members, the alliances. So I think uh, you can say that is only a hoax news, guys. Okay, back to you again, Miss. That's wild. I mean, like it just wow. Game. It's just a game, and people make false news in game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I, as I said, I, I don't know the details. Like we we did talk yeah. about it with Dave. Hey, you know everything is fine, and, and he said, yeah, we we just talked. You know, just a little bit of drama, nothing major. Like, and then I I got the info like later on about some some screenshots with with photos or whatever. But honestly, I I don't know exactly what what happened there. Like, um, you know, beats me. Um, as far as you know, people losing power and stuff. Well, it's a big KVK. You you expect everybody of doing the best they can for an entertaining and high level KVK, and uh, that that's what we're prepared to do uh, here in, in three six five. And I'm pretty sure that 
uh, our allies are, are, are both prepared mm -hmm. to do this. So, yeah. What's your wish for this KVK? For for how this coffee guy gonna 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 go? Uh, in in terms of of uh, the zones and and uh, well, uh, right now uh, five thirty four is firing water camp in uh, for for zone five. Uh, I I think water camp approached the, the map exactly as we expected and uh, exactly as 534 was expecting and they, they they're doing the same thing and we we have talked about the high level strategy of how we will approach the zones and we, we're pretty confident in our plans obviously uh i'm i, I cannot tell what 9060 will do right uh that that's from from what i've seen uh the odds of coming into the zone uh, or just you know not engaging into the zone or mm -hmm. they can go both sides but we're we're prepared uh, for for every scenario okay that's great but yeah let's uh let's take a flashback to the history <laughs> of the kingdom about the 1365 uh way before we know the 1365 as the the one of the biggest kingdom in AOK community. Can you share uh, about the beginning of the kingdom, how it becomes the one of the greatest kingdom we know today? Well, th thank you for, for uh, us being the greatest kingdom. I, I surely hope so. <laughs> we we, we tried to, to do our best, but there's, there's a lot of strong mm. and, and good kingdoms out there. Um, mm -hmm. So as far as 65 is concerned, I know that JST uh, and uh, the, the Korean Fox in Judge and DF uh, all came in, into 365 from three different kingdoms. Oh. And yeah, it, it's like a, a group of three different Korean kingdoms and also some individuals. And they gathered and they moved into 365. Uh, we were not part of that, of that initial effort by, by mm -hmm. uh, JST. Uh, we, we came a bit later. Uh, we actually faced 365 as an enemy um, about, I don't know, I think it was KVK 7 with mm -hmm. 307, I think. Uh, we fought them with 307, we fought 365 and 474 and some other Korean kingdoms. And uh, yeah, I can tell you 365 was, even though they had a smaller power at the time, it was much harder to deal with than 474. So um, uh, it was it was really fun. We we uh, we we took over the zone. We we uh, mm -hmm. won that KVK with three hundred seven, and that was uh, our first interaction with three six five, mm -hmm. and uh, not with with the leadership exactly. Uh, like I was talking with uh, Zizang mostly because he was there smashing my troops all the time, so I, I had to troll him a little <laughs> bit. Uh, yeah, a crazy guy. <laughs> And uh, on the next KVK, we uh, we we went into KVK with against uh, it was a three v five against two fifty four, uh, two fifty four being the three camp uh, uh -huh. coalition. We were in three seventy five at the time, and we allied with three six five, mm -hmm. and that's where I started to get to know more of the leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly David was back then a guy that he he was like a big trash talker from from Justice, really fun guy, uh, and um, yeah we we had some fun. They had the blast fighting mm -hmm. to fifty four in that zone. I don't know if you guys remember, it was yeah. a crazy KVK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately for us, like we, we didn't fight. We fight. We fought two fifty four in the initial zone for a couple of hours and then just bailed. And then when we had the chance to go into the zone. It was pretty much uh, done uh, to, to 365 had, uh, had defeated to 54. Uh, and after that KVK, <clears throat> we, we were personally not happy with with our partner alliance in, okay. in 375. It was it was another alliance named uh, Woody. Mm -hmm. And we, we were looking for, for other, you know, places to go potentially. Uh, and we, we started talking with 365. And uh, they say, hey, why don't you guys come here? So we, we started talking more. At the time, we also had talks about moving with uh, with uh, Laguna, 
from Air Force Six. Mm. Unfortunately, Laguna kind of disappeared at the time. And uh-huh. yeah, we we had other other like other targets like three ninety nine. It was like a group from BBTH at the time, uh, but that kingdom kind of imploded before mm-hmm. we we thought we would go there. So overall, it was like our only option to to move away from three seventy five. And mm-hmm. we did like three six five. We knew they they were fighting hard, mm-hmm. and uh, they they were very experienced. They they also uh, strategic wise. I noticed they know very well how to play the game, mm-hmm. strategy wise, not just tactics and marches and all that. So for us, it was uh, yeah, let's do this, and we 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 joined three six five as like the first international group, mm-hmm. and uh, it has been a blast ever since. It was the best decision we ever made, okay. and yeah, more more groups came. OG group came uh, later on, like the second international group. Mm. And so we're like pretty mixed back right now, but it has been awesome. Brilliant. All right. Um, we all yeah. uh, we always have something that we always ask to our guests about the history, uh, your love story with Eroke, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love story. <laughs> love story with the Eroke. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, hey. We all trap here, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love and hate, I'd say. Uh, yeah, yeah, true, true. That's why, yeah. Um, uh, can you share with us how you found Eroke at the first place and why you loving this for this long time history of Eroke? Yeah, well, I, I used to play a game by Lilith Games called Art of Conquest. And, and it was a game I, I was following Legend Ronnie. He was like... Uh, uh, the king of the kingdom back then, and I, yeah, I, w- I was, I was, I was in a server though. My, uh, I was rather unfortunate because I was in a, in a kingdom where it was like ninety nine percent Chinese predominantly. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. That game has more Chinese people, I think, because mm-hmm. maybe it was like the first one, or maybe it was promoted more in China. Yep. And uh, yeah, it was kind of difficult to survive as as a non Chinese speaker, but uh, kind of made it, and it was a fun game actually to play. Mm-hmm. And then I saw Legend Ronnie playing uh, Rise of Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I thought, okay, this looks like a fun game. It's from the same company. Uh, let me give it a try. So I played a little bit. Uh, I played for a few months, but I was not as active. Like I was on and off all the time. Mm-hmm. I was playing more Art of Conquest. Uh, and then uh, I decided to, to kind of ditch Art of Conquest and focus more on, on Rise of Kingdoms. And yeah, I, I joined a group where we had like the biggest jumper group in Rock over like 800 people. Oh and, my gosh. Yeah, and we- That's we crazy. Created, yeah, yeah, it was, <clears throat> we moved to 196 with Legends Gaming. It was uh, a very big project. Uh, we were like um, a very big Imperium Kingdom back then, <clears throat> like the, the first generation Imperium Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. Uh, 93 was also like, pretty big and it was mm-hmm. 1103 and yeah uh, and then uh, we started playing there and then I uh, that our kingdom back then kind of imploded but that's how I, I learned the game it was from from legend Ronnie yeah and I kind of switched and I've been playing Rise of Kingdoms ever since so mm-hmm. um, if you don't mind to say then did you spend in in uh, in the in game, the... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I've been spending on and off uh, mm. ever since the, the start of the game. I actually had like my first account had uh, very little spending, mm-hmm. and then I created a second account for that jumper group, uh, which is kind oh. more. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I've been I've been a spender, not a, not a big one, but I've been spending a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's Con- because I consider us a kraken. <laughs> ah, no, no way! Not not a crack. No, <laughs> definitely not. I don't know if you guys are, but not me. But as a veteran uh, player, you must have something you want to share as an input to Lilith uh, for the game, yeah. for the future of Eroke. We we've seen uh, many new people around as well. Maybe even we we previously talked about big spender like Nepisto. Maybe <laughs> I thought you guys were talking about Nepisto. <laughs> Like that. Yeah. I think the pistol quit. I think the pistol quit. <laughs> I think so. Who, who is the pistol? 
Nefisto, Mr. Nefisto, the guy which, uh, which, uh, Nefisto, the guy which, oh. um, like, uh, I don't know. I think he, he hate, yeah, 500 million something. Is it? He can get one 500 million. Yeah. Um, regarding regarding your suggestions, uh, we do have the phone number of the uh, uh, ROK community managers, uh, which from mean we, that uh, yeah, and then they, we just came from official Lilith. So we, um, I can uh, deliver uh, the suggestion, basically the input, which we already did before uh, in our meeting meet up with them uh, in your site. In your um, experience, maybe your wishes, maybe what do you, what do you, what do you, what you can suggest uh, for the Lilith, for, yeah. maybe for the ROK in 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 specialty. Oh, I mean, I, I could write a book about those things. I, yeah, I, I can tell my you. God. <laughs> <laughs> I can say maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to do that now. But I'll tell you, uh, number one, what I'd like to see from Lilith doing is. Uh, having mm. a stronger connection with the community. I think there's mm. a big disconnect on, I don't know why, I think the, the community program that Lilith has is not engaged with the player base uh, as well as it should. And I think that's a big problem. Uh, yeah. I can I can interrupt you for a minute for that. Uh, in my country, in Indonesia, uh, uh, ROK, uh, Lilith, uh, already established an ROK community, ROK Indonesia community. Uh, they literally uh, open some some sort of like gathering for group of people. Uh, m Indonesian like have family, right? Like maybe you can say Garuda, 1945, uh, 64, or or others like small uh, group of people in a in in a kingdom. And then basically Lilith uh, give a chance, uh, the, we can call the ROK Indonesia because basically they are trying to get the community here. So that's why I was asking about it. The best part was they pay for our meal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's nice. true. Okay, that's true. it sounds like... Sounds, and that's it, all you can eat. <laughs> well, well, okay, if it's not good, I'm, I'm, I'm booking a trip, you know. Indonesia yeah. is next up, I can tell um, you. I, I don't know. I, I think like I'm from I'm European, right? From okay. from uh, from Europe. Uh, from my perspective, there hasn't been mm -hmm. any events. Those events are good. That's great. Ah, to hear I see. That, okay. Yeah, th those events are great, and I like I like hearing that Lilith is doing them and engaging. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the, I still the, there is a, f a bit of disconnect between like the forms ah. are not being properly maintained. They're, they're like okay. abandoned. It was always just bots. They're like, mm -hmm. they should work more on the on on engaging the community mm -hmm. in various ways. Uh, like okay. uh, they used to do surveys, they don't do that anymore. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if you recall, they used to do some surveys. I think they just kind of stopped. I don't know. I haven't seen the survey notification in a while. Yeah. Uh, I think also they they should uh, like, like even the Facebook group, even the, like the Discord channels. They mm. they. There's there's the feeling that you you cannot engage with with the Lilith if you're mm. part of the player base. It's very hard. Okay. Uh, and I think that's that's something they can. I'm not saying they're absent completely, but th that's an area they definitely uh, have room to improve. Okay. Um, the second part is, or the second thing that uh, we we need an improvement, I think, is KVKs as a whole. Uh, I think they have been trying a lot to bring something new in the KVKs with the different maps, mm -hmm. like the Nile, and they, they made like this alliance against alliance, they, they kind of dropped that. Uh, so that's good, but um, <clears throat> there's other things in KVK that can be improved without actually bringing totally a new mode. Like they should focus on improving the existing KVK formats. Mm -hmm. And that's by introducing, uh, you know, the LVD matchmaking process that exists into strife and HA, which will simplify a lot of things. Um, it will also allow us to understand and, you know, choose who our allies would be, go with like some, some setups beforehand, avoid some potential drama in the process. And overall, I think it's better like uh, LVDs. I don't like the LVD KVK, but at least that matchmaking seemed like a really nice thing uh, in addition to the game, right? Okay, and also other improvements like 
we've been playing the same maps over and over. Mm. It's the same. It's the same hot hot spots, the same mm. uh, rivers, the same mountains, mm. exactly the same. Like I would like to see uh, some some variations of the maps. Okay. Uh, so because it just just gets boring and repetitive. Um. Yeah. The third thing I would say is to bring some other modes. Mm -hmm. um where uh, people can can have entertainment in, in a faster way immediate way like you can have a kvk where it's 1v1 for two weeks or 10 days and uh, have this guy this kind of things in because right now kvk is like such a big event and out of the i don't know 50 days there's like there used to be like two days of fighting for, for some mm -hmm. KVKs, it's, you know, HA, it's one or two days fighting in Kingsland, and then KVK is over. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's like 50 days, uh, two days worth of fighting. Uh, so I think they should make potentially more improvements to that to give more entertainment that lasts longer mm -hmm. and uh, more opportunities to have that entertainment, uh, whatever that, that might be. Uh, right now, like, KVKs just take way too long from my perspective. Okay. Well noted. Well noted. Gonna pass yeah. it to them. Yeah. For example, you you could have like a KVK where I don't know the the the, the dead troops ratio is not fifty percent. It's twenty five percent. And you you can have a KVK every every two weeks, and KVKs last ten days. Like you can get more entertainment in a better way, uh, mm -hmm. and just enjoy more and faster. So uh, right now it's like a big process. KVK mm -hmm. like takes three months. And if you if you don't get a matchmaking or if you don't get a KVK like with 254 and with the KVK they had recently, they're gonna have to wait all this time for another KVK. Mm -hmm. It's it just you know it just takes so long. It's like a bit too complicated, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Typing the message to the manager now. <laughs> oh really? Okay. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Well, I hope, I hope she reads it, and uh, I don't know. It would be nice to see what she thinks about it. Okay. But yeah, well, because when, when KVK first came, the, the number one thing I said, I don't mm. know if you remember, the first KVK didn't have like the, the Hall of Heroes thing. Mm, and yeah. the first mm. thing I said, I think I had uh, I had told that to Gecko is they need to have 50% uh, of your troops return, else everybody's going to dry run, dry out of troops in uh, two KVKs. Uh, yeah. Like if you get zero, like it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I mean, it will work for for people that spend money and build troops, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the uh, well, biggest uh, amount of people are they're not. They're, they're just yeah. Gonna have most to of them. Fight. Most yeah. of them have to be. Yeah. So and I was surprised to see that fifty percent came uh, as a mm -hmm. suggestion. That was pretty solid. Uh, so yeah. I uh, they've been thinking about these improvements, and I know they can do it. Uh, and some of them make sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because actually they do need uh, input from the players, right? People that is actually using the program, using the games. If we are not uh, not going to be hurt by them, then eventually the game gonna die, right? So it's, so we we are the we are the one that is trying to make it uh, to give them some common sense what we are feeling about in the game. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not I'm not part of the group of people that says okay uh, this is a too too much pay to win game I think that's the wrong perspective that like the company has to make revenue right that's what keeps the service running that's what pays people to employees yeah. to create the, the content and um, the product itself mm -hmm. as long as that money goes back into developing the game further and giving us content for a better gaming experience I'm all down for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in certain areas, they've been trying. In other areas, they're they're, they're slacking behind. Uh, about the lagging issue, um, I have some doubts if that can be improved dramatically mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is, it's one of the few games that allows so many players to connect at the same time and engage mm -hmm. with a mm -hmm. lot of information. Uh, mm -hmm. So that might be a very big technical challenge from from mm. their side and i think yeah. that was that was a primary force behind their decision to introduce the imperium system that mm. didn't exist at the start like you could go yeah. 
mm. and just create a massive kingdom with now without imperium status yeah and they realized like this is not going to work you know we put these two guys together with five thousand people mm. fighting the server is going to get toasted so i'm afraid the improvement that they're gonna bring is vip 19. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay oh yeah no. probably money, money, money. Probably that's the improvement. Hey, I, I don't mind, and I'm I'm ready to go. I'm ready okay. to go for 19. But, um, me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much for all this conversation. That's such a really fun conversation to have with you, Night King. Uh, thanks a lot. It was fun to talk to you, to you uh, guys. I I didn't know your channel before you pinged me. Uh, I usually don't. I don't get along with streamers very much. I can tell you, there's some, some yeah. history with streamers. But uh, yeah, I, I do love the opportunity uh, to talk with you guys and have this nice little chat. And thank you for for showcasing uh, 365 and inviting me to your channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, much love from from 365 side. And yeah, a big shout out uh, to you to your fans, to the Indonesian community, and uh, to to my kingdom, uh, 365. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, a little bit, just a little bit thing. So um, I would like to uh, express my gratitude and thank you so much for to save as the 365 King and also Night King um, to have uh, the time and basically give us the chance to get to know uh, more details, more details about 365, actually your history, a bit of your history. Um, the way your maybe the kingdom gonna flows the way the kingdom uh, doing the strategy. I'm also gonna say uh, my thank you to my dear friend Marvel. Uh, actually, we do have being uh, given uh, we we will we borrow account uh, uh, from 365. So my purpose, our purpose was um, is is not was my purpose is trying to get a better insight from particular um, KVK, but not trying to like spill all the strategy or what happened, about, especially about the markets at all. No, at all. We just want to uh, let people see what is inside the kingdom. Um, oh, this is what happening. This is the truth. This is the well. It basically, it's going to be telling people the truth. Donny, <laughs> thank you also, <laughs> Donny. <laughs> I always call him the beautiful beard, guys. If you have a chance, take a look at his beard. Donny beard is uh, magnificent, magnificent, Edwards. Really, better than a toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he has, he has a nice beard. I know him. He's got it. He has, he's okay, got the sir. beard. Okay, we, we have a bunch of friends actually in Trixie 5 okay, so. Okay, That's yes, great back to you. <laughs> uh, thank you again for the uh, 65 fighting <laughs> for the KVK. Yeah. Let's yeah. have uh let's have the decide the the view of 365 on this ziggurat. I, I sure as hell hope so, and I'm, I'm pretty confident we, we're going to win mm. this KV game. It's going to be awesome. That's going to yeah. be awesome. Th thank you very much. Mm. It's going to be awesome. All right. Thank you so much uh, for everyone that stayed to watch this video until the last. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Put everything you want to say or any suggestion for the contents in our channel. Um, terima kasih untuk teman-teman yang nonton. Jangan lupa like, comment, dan subscribe. Bye-bye.